John, strong uh, second half comeback, but you had a lot to overcome from the first half. So I guess it's a sort of a mixed bag a little bit tonight. Yeah, the guys showed a little fortitude. You know, they did. I said that to Joe on the radio. Um, obviously pleased that we responded. You know, but again, I, you can't spot anybody 16 points and expect to win the game, especially on your home floor. Um, so that that was disappointing, you know, to say the least, um, and, and, and a good lesson for us to learn early in the season. What did you tell them at halftime? You're down 19 at half, and you came out uh, spark in the second half. Played uh, played a lot better. Was there anything that you talked to them about, or they did technically that? Uh, why they improved so much? I, I just thought we competed a little bit hard. I mean, I'm, I'm not a, I'm a meat and potatoes kind of guy. I'm not one of those rah rah like I'm yeah. give some Vince Lombardi type speech. I mean, I just told them that we had to play hard. I mean, they were they, they hurt us on the glass, which they did in the second half too. But we had to compete harder, and that was the bottom line. You know, I mean, I think the reality, we guarded a little bit better in the second half because we made some shots in the second half. You know, and um, your defense cannot be dictated by your offense. You know, so again, that's something that we talked about just now. We've got to get better in that area. You got it to within four, I think, at least once, maybe twice, and uh, maybe hit a shot there, a free throw there. You can turn the game around. But then again, that's, that's asking a lot to come all the way back, but you almost did. Yeah, we're right there. I mean, again, I'm, it's the first game of the season, and we got 28, 29 more to go. So it, it's a process. You know, we're building one day at a time, one practice at a time, one game at a time. Um, we took a step forward in the second half. You know, we did. And, and I think we, we figured some things out. You know, and again, the key is going to be, did we figure it out to forget about it? Did we figure it out to carry it into Saturday? You know, to carry it into practice on Thursday, to practice on Friday. Uh, David really sparked you the second half. What would you like what you saw from him after halftime? You know, David's David a senior. I mean, I'll, I'll always say that for to just keep it real simple. David is a senior. He does the same thing every day. Goes to class every day. Handles his business every day. Practices hard every day. Has energy every day. So now that's why he's able to produce coming off of an injury when he hasn't had reps in practice. That's not easy. David missed four or five days of practice. So that's why, I mean, his shooting percentage, a lot of shots that he normally makes, they weren't there because his timing is a little bit off because he hadn't practiced. But again, he was productive because he's consistent with his approach. Uh, it's very important. John, was it a knee injury or ankle injury? or For David. David, uh, he's having a little issue with his hip. Nothing, okay. nothing, nothing or shot. Hip yeah. David, you really played well the second half. What made the difference for you? Um, I mean, just seeing a couple of shots uh, go down. Uh, didn't work for me, so, you know, I got in foul trouble. Didn't try to get down on myself more, but uh, uh, just seeing a couple of free throws, I think being more aggressive kind of got me back into the groove of it. Did that four-point play get you going? Yes, sir. Yeah. What would you like from the team the second half that maybe you didn't see the first half? Uh, like Coach saying, uh, we hit a couple of shots. So uh, we got down, defended more, you know, cut it back down to, I think, a five-point lead. Uh, we weren't able to um, bring it out, but we have another opportunity Saturday. So we need to bring the fight more in the first half so we can carry it throughout the game. John, what do you see for Saturday from Winthrop? I, I mean, similar type? game that's maybe going on on the wire, or what, what do you expect Saturday? Winthrop's uh, a very good opponent, a very good opponent, and that, that, that's an understatement. I mean, that's a really good team. There's a reason they were in the NCAA tournament the year before last. You know, they hung a banner last season, so this is a legit team. Um, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm not one to move ahead, so I've not watched a lot of film on them yet. Sure. But I do know that they're, they're a well-coached team. They got a pedigree. They, they went to an NCAA tournament. I think they won 19 or 20 games last season. It's a team that's used to winning, um, and they're going to come in ready to fight. Okay. What do you take away from this game? What do you think you learned the most from this game? Maybe that you know already know that you know the game's two halves, but what do you take away from this game, John? Just consistency of our approach. You know, and again, I, I, I've said that over the years. I think this team will really figure that out. Um, because, again, this is a very competitive group. We saw that in the second half. It means something to these guys. They want to do well. Uh, we've got a really strong locker room in terms of our chemistry. They'll lean on one another, and uh, we'll be better because of this game. That, that, that's it's very important um, that we understand that, but people understand that this team will grow from this loss. That's the first, first game of the season.
Okay, gentlemen, thank you. Hang in there and good luck Saturday.